Welcome to the Irresistible You podcast. This is the place to get a dose of empowerment to create the life you crave and deserve. I'm your host, Amy Valtran, CEO and founder of Irresistible University. Through my podcast and signature coaching program, I teach women just like you how to ditch the body image issues, gain confidence, and lose the emotional weight to look and feel irresistible at any size. If you like the podcast, you're going to love working with me inside of my group coaching program. If you would like to learn more about it, including the investment, see what's included, get real client testimonials, and to sign up and enroll, please head over to irresistibleicing.com slash course. That link is also in the show notes. Hey, everybody, and welcome back. This is episode 166 of the Irresistible You podcast, and we are really going to do a continuation of last week's topic. Last week, we talked about how to be intentional with your time, how we are, you know, we are in fall, we are rolling right into the last three months of the year, and, you know, we can either use these months to you know, smash and bang out some of our goals, or we can use these three months to stay busy, staying busy and zone out and not be where we want to be. So I had asked a question last week on the podcast and I said, how do you want to feel when you wake up on January 1st? Because so often what people do is is they go, they, they say, fuck it. Fuck. We have a new term here. You know, y'all know the irresistible you podcast. We always have new terms. So now we have fuck it fall. Are you going to have a fuck it fall? Wake up on January 1st and be like, Oh my God, I cannot believe here I am. I gained back so much weight. I feel like shit. I haven't met my goals. I'm not where I want to be. Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> How many January 1st have you spent that way? I'm sure it's a lot. And are you willing to feel that way again? Now, listen, this is not, I mean, we only have three months, right? This is not to say in three months, we're going to get to our goal weight. That's ridiculous to even think that that's going to happen unless you have like five or 10 pounds to lose. Okay. Are you going to completely uproot and change your life in three months? No. However, three months is a really good gauge of time to build solid foundations, to build good habits, and to really start to see momentum in your life, in the changes that you want. So today what I want to just talk about is, okay, so what do you do now? Let's, you know, let's relate this back to weight loss. Let's talk about meeting our weight loss goals. And if if we're not where we want to be on the scale and in our body, then what are we going to do to change that? And the first thing that you really have to do is you have to at least recognize and admit. It's like the 12 steps, right? You have to admit there's even a problem because it's so easy to move through life and to stay um, in denial and act like everything's okay and, and you know, have an excuse for every single action that you're doing that you don't love. You'll have a reason that you're doing that. So the first thing we have to do is we got to come clean and get honest with ourselves. This isn't about anybody else. This is about getting honest with yourself. Because what I see so often, and I definitely have been guilty of this in the past, is when we're trying to lose weight and we're no longer losing weight or we've fallen off the wagon or we're now just you know, gaining back or wherever you are on that spectrum, there always seems to be the reason or the excuse, um, I'm doing everything right. I'm doing everything right. I don't know what's going on. And so often when people say that, they're not doing everything right. They're overeating. They're emotionally eating. They are, you know, sneaking food in here and there, and they really truly are not doing what they think they're supposed to. And it's crazy how we can convince ourselves that that we're not doing those things. And so I don't care about anyone else in your life because no one else in your life needs to even know this. But the first person you've got to get honest with is yourself. Are you really giving it your all? You know, there's someone on YouTube that I've 
been watching and they are constantly yo-yoing back on their weight and <clears throat> she claims that she's doing everything right she doesn't understand what's going on cannot cannot get her head around why she's gaining weight and then I will see <clears throat> her share and I'm not trying to shame or judge or anything like that I'm just you know <clears throat> excuse me so I see her share some of her meals and she's eating chips and ice cream multiple times a day there's just certain things in life guys that we can't do and expect to have different results so the first thing you got to do is come clean with yourself get real with yourself and what we usually do when you are caught up in the yo-yo diet, body hate shame cycle, what I see women do, and when I talk about this, it's because I've lived it, okay? <laughs> I have done these things. What we do is we we go from denial, everything's okay, I'm, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do, I don't understand why I'm not losing weight, to okay, I'm going to just like, go all in and I'm going to be all or nothing. And we go into that all or nothing perfectionist thinking of like, I've got to throw out all the food. I've got to like, you know, go eat all the favorite things that I love because after this day, it's never going to happen again and blah, 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 blah. And then you go from eating whatever the hell you want, not having any boundaries around food, not having any boundaries around what's acceptable in your life and how you treat yourself to these ridiculous, ridiculous unrealistic boundaries of I'm only going to eat you know low carb and I'm not allowed to have fruit and I'm not allowed to have bread and I'm not allowed to have this and I'm not allowed to have that and you restrict and that never lasts you will fall off the wagon you will go back to the same thing you were doing before and the body the yo-yo diet body hate shame cycle just keeps repeating itself and people miss a very important step because it's not taught it is not something that diet culture teaches you because diet culture doesn't want you to do this the right way. They want you to keep failing. They want you to keep yo-yo dieting. And nobody talks about this. And that's having the honest conversation with yourself. Taking the judgment away. So you go from eating whatever the hell you want and binging and emotionally eating to restricting and promising yourself you're going to just do this, you're going to put your head down, you're not going to go anywhere, you know, outside of your work and, you know, responsibilities, you're not going to go to parties, you're not going to go see people, you're just going to put your head down and lose this weight in the fastest, quick, quickest way possible. That is called desperate dieting. Desperate dieting is not going to sustain you for the rest of your life. If you want to change your life for the rest of your life, you have to stop desperate dieting. So the first thing you really have to do is put everything on the table and stop worrying about what to eat, how much of it to eat. Stop worrying about the latest, greatest fad diet. Stop worrying about judging yourself. Stop judging yourself. You think that if you don't write it down, it didn't happen. Well, your body and the scale will let you know that that's not true. <laughs> okay. So what I want you to do this week is I want you to just get honest with yourself and you're like, okay, I get it. I get it. What does that mean? What it means is continue doing what you're doing. We don't need to sit here and make drastic changes. We don't need to sit here and do a cleanse and all this other bullshit. Okay. Get out a pen and a piece of paper or get out your phone in the notes Okay, whatever you like, whether you're digital or analog, it doesn't matter. And I want you to just start tracking what you're eating. Notice, I did not say change what you're eating. I did not say judge what you're eating. I don't want any morsel left off of that list. Because until we can see what we're doing, we can't make any changes. And if you're hitting the drive throughs two times a day and Starbucks, and this is how you've been going for months, and you're zoned out, you're zombie walking, you don't even realize the amount that you're consuming. Because you'll say, oh, I only ate once today, or I only ate twice today, or I only had this, or I only had that. And living in denial is only doing damage to yourself. As long as you lie 
and cover up and live in denial, you're only hurting yourself. And do you think that by being in denial or not writing stuff down that you're somehow like getting an edge up in the game? Cause you're not <laughs> like, you're just not. So let's get clear and honest with ourselves. So for the next week until the next episode, and you guys can come share this on the Facebook group. You can come share this personally with me on Instagram if you would like. But what we're going to do here is we're going to take note of, and notice I didn't say we're, we're not planning meals. We're not meal prepping. We're not counting calories. We're not counting points. We're not doing any of that stuff. You're just going to write down what you're eating as you eat it. And the thing you're going to have to really work on is to take the judgment away. We're not here to judge. We're here to collect data. And when you can make it boring and very gray and very generic, then it starts to work. Because the judgment of yourself is a whole nother beast that we're going to have to work on in this whole Irresistible You journey. So the first things we're going to do is we're going to write down every single thing we eat. And I did not say look up how much it is or how many calories, how much fat, how many carbs. I don't care about that. If you had two servings of mashed potatoes, write it down. If you had an apple or a banana, write it down. Okay? Because what I want you to do is you're like a little scientist researcher right now. You're going to research and take a very good look at, okay, because once you have this data and you have this information, now we get to decide what are we going to do with this information, okay? And that's what we'll cover next week in the episode is what do we do from here? How do we look at this and how do we start to make changes, changes that are sustainable, changes that are not yo-yo diet culture bullshit, things that we can do for the rest of our lives, because you should not be doing anything to lose weight that you're not willing to do for the rest of your life, period. Okay, so get out your paper, get out your phone, and start writing down all the food. And this creates self-awareness. Self-awareness is one of the fundamentals that you need to have in order to create an irresistible life. As long as you're zombie walking, you are not self-aware. You cannot be self-aware while you're zoning out and zombie walking your ass all through your life. That's how overeating happens. That's how binge eating happens. And we can talk about this in a different episode, but there is a point where you can still binge without being a zombie. And when that happens, it's then called deciding to make a choice you decided to make that choice and we can talk about that in a different episode I don't want to overwhelm you with all the things right now what I want you to do right now is I want you to work on writing down all of the food all of it and if you leave stuff off the list I want you to ask yourself why are you doing that who is that protecting what is that solving because until you can be honest with yourself, you will not have the life you crave. Until you can be honest with yourself, you will not stop the cycle. That is one of the biggest pieces. So this week, we're working on our list of our food. We are working on being honest and real with ourselves. And there's a difference between being honest and real with yourself and judging yourself. Let's just for a second, and then we're going to wrap things up here. So if I look at my list and let's say I have fast food on there, I have like candy and all this, you know, all these things on my list for that day. There's two things that are going to happen there. Number one, I'm going to judge myself and be like, oh, this is so disgusting. You fat bitch. I can't believe you eat like this. No wonder you're fat. No wonder you can't lose weight. Oh my God. I can't believe you still eat like this. What's wrong with you? That is the judgy inner fat bitch. I'm not interested in her. She is not welcome to the party, okay? Being real and honest with yourself is saying, okay, I've noticed that I'm eating candy, 
you know, heaps of candy every single day, especially between five and seven. That seems to be a pattern for me. I wonder why that is. If you don't want to get curious, you're not going to solve this. You have to get curious, not judgy, curious and say, okay, you know, it seems like I'm hitting the drive through multiple times a week and I'm not ordering good things. I'm ordering, you know, the double cheeseburger, blah, 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 all this over the top stuff. What's going on here? And why am I still hungry two hours later? Am I really hungry or is that something else? And we're going to dive into those questions next week and then what we do with that data. So that's the difference between the inner fat bitch being judgy and you just being honest and real with yourself and looking at this as data. Like think of it as a job, like at a job, you collect data, right? You've got to figure out this thing for a report. So you go and you get the data from people and then you decide what you're going to do with that information. And again, we'll go into that next week and, you know, really talk through what do you do from here? What's the next step? Okay, cool. I looked at all my food I'm eating, but now what? What do I do with this? We're going to talk about that. So let's just do this in chunks. Work on your food list. You can share that in the Facebook group. You can share that personally on Instagram, or you don't have to share it with me at all. That's completely up to you. Okay. And you're also going to begin to start thinking about how to work on that inner fat bitch judgment. I want you to notice when that's coming up, okay? I want you to notice when you're doing that, and we will dive into that in the next episode as well. So, all right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, Hopefully, I will see or hear from you in social media, and we will get back together next week, and we will go through the next steps. I hope you have the most amazing week ever. Until next time, stay irresistible. Bye, guys.